This is really about the nine man run command. Anytime you do this, the safeties just walk right into their holes. They don't drop back. And you can see he's the one that makes the tackle. But you can see how this guy just gets in completely unblocked. And that's just a straight B gap because the tackles can't rotate quick enough to pick up these guys as they're coming around the corner. I do the exact same thing where I basically stand here for a second. Woo! And you can see now we get a straight A gap. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm putting out the top five defenses to use, whether it's run, pass, blitzes. I'm going to give you all that in today's video. But before I get started, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, I'm going to show you guys two different defenses to use out of my three, four odd. This defense and all the defenses I'm showing you today are also found in my ebooks. Either, I mean, every defense I'm going to show you today is pretty much found in my multi D defensive ebook. All these defenses. Defenses really need speed in the right places. So I'm going to show you the best place to have speed on this particular defense. Number one, your outside linebackers is a must. But I also noticed that a lot of times the defensive ends get off on the edge as well. So I want some speed there. So I got Josh Sweat on the one side and a lowly rated guy who's like a 92 speed and Kyron Johnson on the other side. So I'm going to start off with my favorite run defense. The best run defense to me is really, you know, you can take your pick here. It's either going to be the cub four quarters or the cub four drop. Go ahead and let's pick the cub four quarters because this one here is slightly better in coverage than the cover four drop. Now, for this defense, you also want to make sure that you set your zone coverage to match. Now, I don't usually do this, but since I'm doing my face cam today, I want to give a shout out to my new and old coin sponsor in MMOXP. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you've been following my channel for a while, they were a uh, supporter of mine for a very long time as they were a two-year sponsor for me before uh, the last couple years, which I changed because they actually had some uh, some money issues. I had, to, I had to change sponsors, but I am back with them and I am very happy for that because I was always happy with them. They're a very good company and they've been supporting this channel for a very long time. So if you guys need coins, if you need mutt coins, make sure to check them out. Link in the description and top pin comment. Every time you do that, it also supports this channel. So thank you very much for that as well. For this setup, there's really uh, a couple things you need to keep in mind. If there's not a lot of receivers on the field, which typically if you're going to run defense is kind of the idea, you can pinch the entire defense. I'm going to use or control this cornerback though, so he doesn't go down too. The reason that I want to pinch this defense and bring everybody into the box is because these safeties will act like run defenders. I want them close to the line of scrimmage. If I want to, I can really, you know, if I really expect an outside run, I can I can take them to the outside a little bit. Yeah, I'm sh I spread the linebackers. I don't want to spread the defensive line because that's going to just create too many holes. So it's deep pad to the right and up on the left stick to get those linebackers out. And now Fletcher Cox is like frozen in the wrong spot. But that's fine. So let's just go ahead and let's punch them back. Like I said, it doesn't really matter because the point of this is these safeties are going to do the job. I'm going to use this guy here on the blitz. That's all I really got to do. And you can see the first play, we just got a huge hole because Fletcher Cox wasn't in the right spot. I don't know why that glitched, but it is what it is. We're going to do that again. Like I said, it's really all about pinching, but you can see here, this is the look I was telling you about where we really don't want to pinch those cornerbacks. You really don't want those cornerbacks up because this could be a run or a pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to baseline, show blitz baseline. Doing that will bring the safeties down, but not the cornerbacks. And then from there, I just have to manually pinch the rest of these guys. If I expect an inside run, if I expect an outside run, you know, I can spread them. But like I said, let's just suggest that my opponent is probably going to run the ball here and i'll go ahead and i'll do the full run defense here you can see he's not really getting that far uh, as the safety was really the one that made the play this is really about the nine man run command at least that's what i call it anytime you do this the safety just walk right into their holes they don't drop back the cornerbacks drop back because they're more concerned with getting beat deep but these safeties will just walk down into the run fits and you can see he's the one that makes the tackle just about every single time you run this defense the safeties are going to be the guys with the exception of a lot of times where the defensive lineman will just plug up any inside hole my next play is going to be in the same formation, but I'm going to make some more coaching adjustment changes because it's really important. The number one coaching adjustment change is setting auto alignment to base. I went over this in a lot of gameplays. I'll have links to the gameplays in the description and will also pop up at the end of the video if you guys didn't see the gameplays. I have at least three of them out so far using this exact same defense I'm going to show you. But this is the only defense I use, the pinch bug zeros, or the three, four, I should say. I use just about every play in this formation. On offense, I'm just going to go with a random play in general because I really use this against any type of offense i use it against shotgun under center doesn't matter i have success with it all i'm really going to do is pinch my defense that's all i really got to do after that i can base a line but i, I feel that kind of gives stuff away i'd rather just walk these cornerbacks back a little bit so they don't get burnt you don't even really have to pinch the defense i'm being honest from here though all i'm really going to do is just bring this guy down over the center and if i think it's going to be a run play i'm not going to guess run like i said right here you can see that we're, we're under center if it's under center i'm not going to guess run but here we have one more uh 
you know, one more shotgun look. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this like a pass defense. Like I said, I'm just going to blitz all, drop this guy down, try to pull a blocker, and boom. I, I guess pass. You can see how Rasan Rex just goes right around the block. We're going to move on to some smaller packages, uh, starting with the 3-3 Cub. I find, once again, the best defense is going to be the Mike Blitz Zero. All you really got to do is bring this guy down over here. And once again, guessing pass is going to really help out. But basically, you can see how, I mean, I got suctioned in there. I didn't mean to, but you really want to engage and drop back. And you can see how Nolan Smith just comes in free. When I run this defense, I really like to get closer, though. I really like to just, like, try to force one of these uh, guards to take me on because that's really going to be helpful, as you can see right there. When I did that time, he got the pass out quick. I probably should, like, make some adjustments to to bring the coverage a little bit closer to, uh, to the checkdowns like that. But did you see that defensive end come off the edge free? But you can see how this guy just gets in completely unblocked. And that's just a straight B gap. Like I said, if you're going to do that, you probably want to pressure cornerbacks because you see how quickly they have to get rid of the ball. So next up, got another speedy blitz out of the dime normal. And then we're going to pick the dime blitz zero. This is a very good defense. It's a good base defense because you have four down defensive linemen. One of the better things to do would be pinch this entire defense. And then all you really have to do is blitz your user. Like I said, I don't really like this guy being so close. I like to back him off if I can because outside receivers can just get open on streaks. But this is pretty much all you got to do. Sometimes I find it's best to slant the defensive line outside and definitely guess pass if you expect the pass but this is pretty much going to be the look if i slant outside i feel like they do a better job of holding those tackles which is really the plan and then i just have to hold stay in this gap for just a second so that these guys can get around outside you can see dax is running for his life from both of them really i mean he was running from the, the free blitzer on the other side the entire demand zero blitz yet we got a really good one out of the dollar and it's probably something that you've heard of the db fire 2 i could really go multiple defenses here but we've done enough so i'm not going to do the spinner blitz the db fire 2 is much better this year it's a much better coverage because it's not a regular cover two it's actually a cover two match so once again we're going to make sure we have our match coverage set to on so that we have a better defense but we're going to want to make sure that we take off our flats and put them back to uh, default so that setup is pretty much the same you just want to make sure you have these cornerbacks down and they want to also pinch your defensive line and slant them outside and then bring your user over the middle here to try to pull the uh, to pull the defense in. After that, I find it's best to do this guy in like a middle third just to take that away because I'm going to cover the middle at the end of the day. Um, but that's pretty much it. The soft squats are superior uh, as far as matching defense goes than your your typical um, you know cover two Tampa two cloud flats and hard flats. That's going to be the best version. So you're going to have a pretty good defense, but the pressure's going to get in so quick. Hopefully that it really doesn't matter. That's why people run this. As you can see, it actually took a little while. To me, the best defense is the three four pinch buck zero. I know a lot of people are running this defense though as it is a very good defense here we can pinch the entire defense now because um you know he's under center so anytime you have an under center look you can really do that and like i said i'm not even going to worry about uh, the middle i'll keep my vert hook out there because you can see there's two tight ends that will get open right away otherwise if i don't have that sometimes i slant them outside the same way because that is somewhat helpful to try to maintain these tackles and you know if this is a run play might not work out too good but like i said you can see it's a pass play Dax running for his life very good play very good coverage this is definitely one of the metas my last play is going to be my carolina panthers defensive ebook this is the 4-3 even 6-1 this is another blitz just like the 3-4 you can really use any of these plays and do the setup i'm going to show you but i'm going to stick with the uh, the mike or the sam will blitz the last blitz is going to be real simple setup. I'm just going to pinch defensive line, slam them outside. And depending on what I see on the offensive side, it really changes how I'm going to do the last step. But since there's a running back right in the middle and I have to cover the running back, I'm going to use the linebacker right here, come right, right over the center. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to you know, stay here for half a second once again, try to get his attention before I drop back. And you're going to see how Dak is just you know, immediately under pressure one more time. Because I'm slanting uh, to the outside, everybody's taking up. And you know, we got a seven-man block once again. Looks like we got a chip block from the fullback too, although it didn't do much. It's technically seven guys blocking, and we get another easy instant sack. We'll go and pick the cup for quarters because this to show you once again that you can do this from anything. The same setup. Uh, the only thing here is, like I said, you're not going to have a lot of underneath coverages. But if you have your cornerbacks set to match, they will. The outside cornerbacks will do a better job of uh, taking care of um, the shorter routes, which it won't do if you don't have it set to match. But once again, I'm going to try to mirror the running back. To do that, I'm going to motion this guy in a little bit here because if that running back goes down a route or even really the tight end, if I want to cover one of those guys, I can do that from this position. I can wait for the, um, you know, basically do the exact same thing where I basically stand here for a second. And you can see now we get a straight A gap right up the middle. So that's, that's the vid. If you guys want to see me use any of these defenses in gameplays, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. Make sure to stick around, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will have a gameplay video 
videos of the defense, the 3-4 odd popping up on screen because that's my number one defense that I use the most. But all these other defenses are great and I do plan on using them in gameplay soon. So let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.